<coughs> gods and water came to the world because, do you have your pockets loaded? Yes. Because of the Nordic and Baltic performance art project Friendship, started by some performance artists in Latvia. So in June, Henrik and I participated in Friendship as the two Danish participants, and we decided to work together. And the theme of this project, or the overall theme that we had our project Baltic Water in was friendship among the Nordic and Baltic countries and water. And when we decided to work together, very soon came the remembrance from our, mem from our memory of childhood of Dansklen. Dansklen. Denmark is the only country that has a nationalistic thing over water. <laughs> <laughs> Then it sounds good. Have anyone ever heard about a Svensk band? It doesn't sound good, does it? So we are really the only one in the Nordic and Baltic region that have such a special soda water. And we decided to make the ideal Baltic water. Yeah, but I have to put a comment there. Amlöse is the Swedish water. It's not called Swedish water. If you go into a restaurant and ask for Swedish water, do you get Amlöse there? No. If you go into a place in Denmark, you would see that all restaurants you can order Danish water. But if you go into some restaurants and say you want Danish water, they might give you hard food. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were traveling around with this friendship project on this boat from Riga in Latvia. And the boat had already started in Klaipeda in Lithuania. Then we went on to Tallinn in Estonia. Helsinki in this country where we are now, Stockholm, and to Copenhagen. And the boat went further on to Playboda and home to Riga. And in each harbor, we took samples of the harbor water in order to distill it. <laughs> <laughs> the reason for this was to create Baltic water. And Baltic water should be so the combination of water from all countries to the perfect mixture of uh, a water clear for all nationalist national <laughs> characteristics. <laughs> we are, we are um, talking about what this future water will contain because there's like two products in it. There is the clean water with the distilled no, water, the distilled water with no cultural, national, and local characteristics in it. You could call it a European Union water. <laughs> <laughs> and the other element, which are the results of this distillation project on the other side, which are the salts and minerals where all the history is contained. But we'll come back to that later. The distillation. <laughs> no, because <laughs> it's very warm, the glasses. Okay. We bought some um, laboratory equipment in order to distill the water. So we have six gas burners. <laughs> 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 and then we have these glass containers with water in This is of course water from Clydebia, water from Vega, water from Tallinn, up here, from Helsinki, down here, from Stockholm, Sweden, Denmark, Copenhagen. <laughs> the ship didn't go to Norway, and thanks God, because it was a small ship and there was not always still around it. It would have been a terrible country. We're not politically correct here. In Norway it's not water they are distilling. No. Mm. <laughs> you might have a problem there. <coughs> so the process... Did you go through the cooling of the No, I didn't go through. The process is here. We're heating up the water. The water becomes to steam. And then we have a cooling system here. Cold water running down here. To this glass. What kind of cold water? water? Just plain cold Any water. local water we could get if effective. No, 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 no. It doesn't touch it, it just cools if you this, know, if you want this to glass. Back, you yeah, 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 it just it cools this down, the water is running through this, as, and it run, runs outside. So it runs in here, out here, to the next, out, in, out, in, <laughs> out, in, out, in, out, and on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it does that in order the steam water should be cooled down so it drops down in these containers. If you go one or two back, then Carsten can sleep uh, more peacefully. Not one back, one front. Uh, this one. one. 
it's like there is a water, a glass cylinder inside the cylinder. So the, the water is cooling outside and inside you have very precious steam drops. If you've done anything of what they do in Norway, you will know this is steam. <laughs> <laughs> and if it was pixie, you can also see this here's the process is uh, finished and we have some leftovers. In the container down here, we have the water, and here is some salt, mineral, <coughs> etc. left. This. And then we look on the minerals and the salts more thoroughly. In a microscope? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now we will send around some of these results. You may take these and send around as well, please, these five. I will tell you now a little bit about the Baltic Sea, because that is where we are, and that's what it's all about. The Baltic Sea, Östersjön, eller Itemeri, so the Finns are totally subdued on that element, they call the sea to their west, the East Sea. It is 21,000 square cubic meters, if that's how you say in English. Big, but it's not really an ocean, because it's much too shallow. It's more like a big lake. And one interesting thing is that the lakes actually only have an average age of 1,000 years before they sand in and become maybe a river. Sorry, it's plastic, don't worry. And uh, Finland is actually a very, very young, unbalanced country. There are so many lakes here because this country hasn't found its balance yet since the last age, ice age. Africa, as in a contrast, is a really old continent. There's one or two lakes in Africa and they have specific geological explanations. Now, um, this Baltic Sea is 14 to 15,000 years old. When the first Baltic ice lake appeared here, red was modern in China. Is that red? Right? Was modern. Red was modern in China. That's just to show a little bit of the, the balance of history or the ancient. It's also tell something about the Finnish culture. <laughs> you said that, but I. So, water modifiers, they are made of the same atoms that were created in Big Bang 13 billion years ago. And the water that we have on this planet is the same, it's constant. It's the same amount that froze this place into big snow earth, or what was it called, sorry, snowball earth 600 billion years ago. It's the same water. And it's the same water molecules that once was a part of dinosaurs. And you all have 70% water in your bodies, and part of those water molecules may have been molecules in dinosaur blood. It's also interesting maybe to think about the water that just came down before had used 36 years to evaporate from the surface of oceans and this local Baltic Sea to get up to the sky in order to wait and become rain. Now the rain that just landed here on the earth, can I get any guesses? How long will it take a water molecule that just landed as rain here to get back home to the ocean? Any suggestions? Hundred years. Hmm? Hundred years. years, any higher? Two hundred years? Any higher? Or more years. How long will the water molecule take from landing on the earth now before it will be back home with the mother ocean? How long? 20,000 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you forget what to say about tap water. When you're drinking tap water, this kind of water has normally been true the, to six other persons before you drink it. <laughs> <laughs> kidneys, kidneys. Now, of course, that doesn't go for my meat, but it goes for the water in any average big city on this. On this I think there was a bit of casting in mind. Let's go to the next chapter. So, with a microscope, what, is, uh, microscope? Uh, microscope, we've been looking at the molecular level, and we'll look further with the really, really decent lab equipment together with the decent scientists uh, to find out more about the stories in these samples. Here in Pleipeda, we may find molecules of aeolian character. Molecules from unharvested fields in Belarus. 
that means fields from Chernobyl. <laughs> In Riga, you saw earlier that the water was really brownish yellow. And that has to do with the swamps and moors and the river which flows out into the Riga harbor. And the water is yellowish in a psychedelic color for one way of, of sailing away from there. It's quite a special feeling. But some of that is caused by molecules from the Rumbula forest, where a special pine tree grows, and where we will be able to find molecules of bones and blood from the Jews that the Nazis killed there during the Second World War. It was also the forest that was used to gather people before deportation. We may also find fibers of wool, sorry, molecules from woolen fibers from Swedish uniforms, which were in the 17th and 18th century. That could be a <laughs> 